Hello veterans, it's George Christos for the Veterans Information Channel. Welcome. Today the topic is Agent Orange. Agent Orange uh, is a huge problem for Vietnam veterans. 3.4 million U.S. service military uh, servicemen served in Vietnam between 1961-1975. Say again, 3.4 million. 1% of the population served in the, in the military. So anyhow, I'm going to refer back to a March and April issue of uh, the Veteran Magazine. And this is uh, from the Vietnam Veterans Association, Vietnam Veterans of America, VVA. And this issue is kind of dedicated to Agent Orange. So uh, on pages 27 through 29, if you have a back copy of it, or if you kept a copy of it, a lot of people, uh, you know, concerned about Agent Orange hung on to this. But uh, I think you can go online to their website and look at past articles. Uh, this article was by uh, Paul Sutton. And it's all about the uh, decades of denial and the stonewalling. I'll just go over a few of the uh, highlights. You know, there was a congressional hearing in 1979 uh, because of veterans that were coming back from the Vietnam War uh, were plagued with all kinds of illnesses. And uh, so Congress did hold a hearing. And a year later, in 1980, they did develop the Agent Orange Registry, AOR, Agent Orange Registry. But little was done, very little was done. VA uh, veterans organizations like the Disabled American Veterans and the BVA and uh, the uh, VFW constantly uh, bringing up issues with Congress and uh, veterans calling their senators and trying to put some pressure on, but very, very little was done. So uh, what happened was the, the U.S. military requested so much large quantities of a dioxin that the manufacturers rushed to manufacture it. So it's a process where they heat up uh, chemicals to produce Ag Agent Orange. And so to speed up the process and make uh, more concentrated uh, dioxin, the higher the temperature, the more deadly the Agent Orange. So manufacturers made it, heated it up as, you know, real higher than required temperatures and they produced the dioxin that was very, very deadly, very deadly. Uh, I witnessed uh, the, the effects of Agent Orange uh, along the Saigon River up the Mekong Delta when planes flew over uh, and sprayed uh, the mangroves, so to speak, the jungle, because there were snipers in there shooting at us. And uh, boy, that, that stuff was potent. You know, within hours you could see uh, the vegetation dying uh, before your eyes. So, Agent Orange. Uh, so, I would recommend that uh, even if you've had, you know, out of the 3.4 million, there's only 500,000 still alive uh, Vietnam veterans. And uh, that's, that's a, a number that should just scare the heck out of people. But little has been done. And... Uh, even if you've had a loved one or a veteran or you're a veteran yourself who's suffering from the effects of Agent Orange, you should uh, not give up the fight. Even if they may be gone, but you should not let this slide. This should never happen again. Uh, you know, use of chemicals like this uh, should, should not be used in the military, period. And uh, the people uh, of Vietnam have suffered, you know. We not only sprayed the military, we, you know, we sprayed the people in North and South Vietnam. 
and they're suffering from the effects of it today. So uh, I would recommend that if you have any interest in finding more out about uh, Agent Orange, this article in the Vietnam Veterans Magazine uh, from March and April 2018, I'm sure you can find it online, pages 27 through 29. Uh, it's in detail, uh, you know, of, gives, you know, it takes in chronological order, if I can say that, of what was done up, up until then. So, and, uh, you know, they did recently, November 2019, they did pass the uh, Blue Water Navy uh, bill that recognizes uh, Navy veterans that were in Navy ships offshore, uh, you know, because the ships, people don't realize those ships use the water, they use salt water, and they turn it into fresh water and they cook with it, eat with it, drink with it. Uh, and that is how uh, Agent Orange uh, got into the bloodstreams uh, of sailors, you know? And uh, just any contact with Agent Orange at all, whether you got it on your skin or you, you know, you ingested it, it, it never goes away. It's what, it's what you call a forever chemical. And uh, in my opinion, <clears throat> in my opinion, uh, Vietnam veterans should be given what I would call an orange heart. You know, you get a purple heart for being wounded. You should get an orange heart just for being in Vietnam. And uh, we all know that'll never happen. But it's basically a cover-up. I, I feel it's a cover-up. And I don't, I don't know who you blame, but, uh, you know, it's just that the military uh, is 1% of the population and uh, not a lot gets done. There's a lot of good things that do get done, but it, uh, you know, the serious things like Agent Orange, burn pits, uh, exposure to asbestos, you know, uh, military bases, the uh, Navy ships. Asbestos was everywhere, and uh, a lot of military uh, lung disease types of things, asbestosis, you know, you see those ads on TV and in magazines, that's because uh, it happened. And uh, we can't let this slide. We can't let things like Agent Orange and asbestos exposure and burn pit exposure and just any kind of chemical exposure. Uh, we got to learn from these mistakes. So uh, if you like my channel, like what, would I, what we have to say here, please uh, subscribe because uh, I'll be doing, uh, you know, informational uh, topics that have to do with uh, military veterans and filing claims with the VA and VA health care and just anything that uh, I can uh, dig up facts. We only deal with the facts here on the information, Veterans Information Channel, VIC, VIC for short. So uh, you can uh, repost us on Facebook and Instagram and uh, please subscribe and, uh, you know, Give us a like. So thanks for tuning in. It's George Christos for Veterans Information Channel. So long for now. Hug a veteran.